This is awesome. I, I love doing stand-up comedy. It's my favorite thing to do it, because you get to travel a ton. You know, I go to Montreal, Canada. I go to Lind London, England. I'm very aware that on my passport photo, I look like a Korean single mother. <laughs> That's my face, everybody. Like a Korean single mother that just discovered she was a lesbian. That's <laughs> my face. Just take a little... I don't know what happened. And I know I, I can pass for white at the border. You know, when you're traveling, you're kind of like, I'm going like that. I have a Canadian passport because I spent a big time of my life in Canada. You know, I get through the border. I'm excited. I'm like, yeah, boom. The guy at the border is like, look, his passport is okay, cool. I was like, details on my passport. It says, born in Bogota, Colombia. Yeah, we have to do a random search, sir. Just <laughs> take off your shoes and your pants. It's going to get messy, sir. <laughs> Why do you have to do that? That's unnecessary. Why is that? And I, I, I know, it's, I love, I'm so proud to be a Colombian. Uh, Canadians and Americans do this to me all the time. It's like, hey, dude, you're Colombian. There's a show on Netflix. You definitely have to watch it. Like, what is it, dude? Dora the Explorer? Uh, <laughs> no, dude, it's called Narcos. <laughs> it's amazing. It, 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 all the time, and I was like, you know, you know how Colombians call that show? History. That's the name of the show. I watch it with my mom. She cries, but then... She dances. Pase las empanadas! That's my mom watching Narcos. You want to watch Narcos, right? Watch it with my mom. Ay, Dios mío, estaba solito ya en la esquina. Lo mataron, estaba solito, solito, solito. Did you get that, white guy? <laughs> yeah. I'm kidding. I don't know why I do that. That's... Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I love this place. I love the, the U.S. and uh, Canada, too. Uh, also, as a Colombian, I get this all the time. I do, you're Colombian, you, you do a lot of cocaine. Is that what you do? So, no, we actually make it. <laughs> and then you buy it. That's <laughs> how the economy works. You should watch this documentary on Netflix. It's called Narcos. <laughs> They'll teach you everything you need to know about Colombia. And Narcos is starting this trend, right? Like, white girls going to Colombia for no reason, right? Like, I have a friend, Jennifer, she's like, oh my God, I want to go to Colombia so bad. I want to go to Bogota. <laughs> Bogota, what is that? <laughs> you know, the capital, Bogota. <laughs> oh, Bogota, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, it's great. It's like, oh my God, yeah, my friends were there last week. They almost got kidnapped. It was amazing. <laughs> like the show Narcos. Ooh. It's crazy, man. I was one of those people, though, because I lived in Canada for a long time. It's like, if Trump gets elected, I'm moving back to Canada. Yeah. I'm right here, everybody. I didn't go. <laughs> no one goes back to Canada. Yeah, and people were pissed off. They're like, Canadians are like, yeah, but he's being racist. What are you going to do about it? I was like, is he minus 40 degrees racist? I like it here. I can feel my feet. <laughs> Give me that hat. I don't care. That's... <laughs> it's fine. And New York is insane. I take the 7 train to... Do, are you guys New Yorkers? You guys live here in New York? Yeah, man. I take the 7 train, and it is, it is a journey. Uh, the other day, I got on the, on the train, and this guy had a boner. I don't know he had a boner because I felt it. It was a... <laughs> right there. And I was really angry. I was like, I'm going to kick this guy. I'm going to fight him. And I looked back, and he was so big. I was like, I'm gonna have to take this for the next four stops. <laughs> I had to take it, man, I had to take it. Saw the same guy the next day, didn't say hi. I got played, everybody, I got played. I was like, I was thinking about you the whole day yesterday. It's just common courtesy to say hi to someone that you just grinded with. Yeah, man, I remember like, uh, it was actually two weeks ago, an old lady told me to go F myself and die to my face. I know, in her defense though, I stole her cab. <laughs> I saw her and I was like, I'm so much faster. I can take this up. <laughs> Cause he makes you, a, a, New York makes you a psychopath, like a crazy person. It's like, I was like, get out of the way. Cause you know, I had to go somewhere. She's been places, you know? <laughs> It's insane. And like, when I moved from Canada, nothing really happens in Canada. Like, I, I would just watch the news here in New York and the reporter, like the eyewitness guy goes like, hey, everybody in New York, how's everybody doing? Let's go find our purpose. Let's chase our dreams. Oh, by the way, 25 people got stabbed in Brooklyn today. 
I was like, what? How many people? It's like 25 people get stabbed. I, I would talk to my New York friends like, yeah, people get stabbed. Just be careful. <laughs> That's the advice. Just be careful. <laughs> but I'm on a level with everybody. I've been here for seven years. I think we should be stabbing way more people. 